Hello, uh, thank you for joining. As part of uh, the ERA and PIGRAGEN funded project, we have prepared uh, short presentations with the main output from experimental trials. Uh, research was uh, done by the Monogastric Research Group and it was conducted mainly uh, at RP Peak Farm in Hillsborough. For the current presentation, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be presenting it uh, myself. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Ramon Muntz from the Monogastric uh, Research Group. And uh, I'm going to be presenting about uh, wet and dry feeding to improve uh, peak's performance. And this presentation is part one uh, because uh, we have another presentation that will follow up on the findings of, of this trial. So uh, liquid feed is a popular feeding system in, in Northern Ireland. Uh, in liquid feed, the diet or the mixture of raw materials and co-products is mixed uh, with water in a central tank. Approximately, uh, there are seven, eight hundred uh, grams of water uh, per kilo uh, of diet. So uh, a three to one, uh, uh, a three liters of water per one kilo of diet uh, ratio, approximately. Um, uh, this system, the liquid feeding, um, it shouldn't be confused with the wet and dry system that uh, we are going to talk uh, um, in a few slides. So uh, in, in liquid uh, feeding, uh, data performance uh, using this system um, uh, is variable and often, uh, and often contradictory uh, from the, the, the experiments or the results we can find in the, in the literature. Uh, liquid systems uh, seem to improve fit intake and growth, uh, especially in grower and finisher peaks, but rarely, uh, rarely improve uh, fit conversion ratio. And also in many cases, uh, the fit conversion ratio is lower than peaks fed uh, dry feeding. Uh, liquid systems, uh, liquid feed systems require a very good maintenance and hygiene of the distribution system. Because uh, once the, the diet and the water are mixed in the tank and it's pumped to the feeders, so uh, there, is a, there is risk of a biofilm formation in those, in those tubes that could cause or could, could contribute to degradation of uh, lysine and amino acids and could also contribute to, uh, to a health issues if, if it, they are not removed or cleaned uh, periodically. So, um, on the other hand, we have uh, wet and dry systems uh, in which the water and the diet uh, are kept separate up to the point of delivery to the peak. Uh, so, we don't mix them in a tank and then pump it to the feeders. So, the water and the diet are delivered uh, separately, but almost simultaneously, directly in the feeders. Uh, so wet and dry systems might have the potential to provide some of the liquid feeding benefits while showing uh, an efficiency, um, uh, while showing similar efficiency compared to dry feeding. So therefore, uh, the objective of, of our trial was to validate the use of wet and dry feeding in nursery peaks and study its effect on growth performance as compared to peaks fed dry feeding. So here we have um, um, a picture with the feeder, uh, the wet and dry feeder uh, that we used in, in, in our RFP farm. Uh, we can see the main, uh, the main pipe or tube which delivers the, the water and, and the diet uh, like almost simultaneously. And there is a, a thin a probe um, next to this tube which uh, is used uh, that, that um, identifies when the, the feeder is empty so then uh, a new batch of, uh, of food can be delivered. Because uh, in, in AFB, uh, recently, we installed this uh, wet and dry system uh, in our nurse, uh, nursery facilities, uh, which is integrated with our automatic uh, feeding system. And therefore, we started uh, exploring its, its, uh, its, benefit, its potential uh, benefits or, or its uh, applicability. So in the trial, we used uh, approximately um, 1,133 piglets uh, uh, of 28 days old from nine production batches. Uh, piglets, after winning, they were allocated uh, in groups of 29. We had uh, four treatments. Uh, one was dry, 
uh, which pigs were offered uh, dry, uh, dry diets, uh, wet one to one, in which uh, pigs were offered a ratio of one liter of water per one kilo of diet, uh, wet two to one, in which the ratio was uh, two liters of water per one kilo of diet, and then wet three to one, in which the ratio was three liters three liter of water per one kilo of diet. It's uh, important to note that uh, in all the wet treatments or the wet and dry treatments, from uh, four to six weeks uh, of age, so the first two weeks post weaning, all wet groups received a two to one ratio. And at six weeks of age, it's when the, the treatment ratio was introduced. All pigs were fed the same diets, um, three kilos of uh, starter diet one, uh, six kilos of uh, starter diet two, and then a uh, grower diet until 10 weeks of age, which was the end of the, of the experimental trial. Both weight was recorded individually uh, at weaning, at six and 10 weeks of age, and feed intake was recorded at the, at the pen level. Then, um, nine uh, pigs per treatment were selected and uh, sacrificed uh, at 10 weeks of age, and we measured carcass weight and gastrointestinal weight. Um, this is because um, we wanted to make sure, um, or we wanted to, to compare that, um, whether the, the body weight of the piglets, or whether by using wet and dry uh, system, would result in an increase um, in a larger gastrointestinal tract and uh, with uh, more content in the gastrointestinal tract. And all data produced was analyzed uh, statistically. So let's go to the, to the results. So here uh, we have a table with the, the data of the individual pigs body weight and uh, body weight gain during the nursery period. Um, so we can see that um, pigs at six weeks of age they already, we already observed differences uh, on weight and uh, weight gain. So uh, even by all, uh, giving the animals uh, a wet and dry ratio of 2 to 1 during the two weeks post winning resulted in, uh, in heavier peaks and uh, increased average daily gain. Then uh, when we go to uh, 10 weeks of age, when the from six weeks to 10 weeks of age, we have the different uh, ratios introduced. Then uh, we observe that um, uh, uh, wet, and, wet and dry feeding result in pigs uh, having higher uh, average daily weight and high, higher weight uh, compared to uh, pigs fed dry. And uh, among the different wet and dry treatments, there are no differences. When we look at the, at the pen level, um, we can see that the, the average daily gain, as we observed in the previous slide, it's, it behaves in the same way. So wet and dry treatments uh, had a higher average daily gain than uh, pigs fed uh, dry feed. When we look at the feed intake, uh, all the wet and dry uh, treatments resulted in a higher average daily feed intake compared to pigs fed dry. And when we look at the feed conversion ratio, we see here that there are uh, some differences. Uh, so from win to six weeks of age, uh, when all the wet uh, treatments were on a two to one ratio, there was no difference on the feed conversion ratio. So they perform at, at the same efficiency as uh, dry, dry fed pigs. Uh, but when we look at the uh, feed conversion ratio uh, from six to 10 weeks and overall uh, from weaning to 10 weeks of age, we can see that the uh, uh, wet, wet and dry uh, ratio three to one is the one that uh, consistently uh, had a similar feed conversion ratio to, to pigs fed dry. So to, to, to see it more visually, uh, here we have a graph with the feed conversion ratio of uh, pigs fed wet dry uh, in a ratio three to one versus uh, pigs fed uh, dry feed. So uh, on, on the left, we have the, the dry treatment and on the right, we have the, the wet and dry uh, three to one uh, treatment. And then the, the green column is the from win to six weeks when the wet and dry pigs were fed a ratio two to one 
the blue column is uh, six to ten weeks, and uh, the yellow column is the overall period. And we can see that the fit conversion ratio is practically identical um, between treatments. Uh, then uh, we have the, the data uh, produced from the carcass uh, measurements from this uh, subsample of pigs at 10 weeks of age. So we can see uh, how um, pigs were selected with the same body weight at 10 weeks of age. And uh, once they were sacrificed and, uh, and, and the organs removed, the carcass weight was also uh, similar or pretty much the same uh, among treatments. Uh, sorry, uh, that tells us that um, this increase in uh, body weight and average daily gain of pigs we observed on the wet and dry treatments uh, was due to actually increasing body weight. Uh, we were concerned or, or that uh, this increase in body weight or, uh, was partially uh, due to uh, bigger gastrointestinal tracts and uh, bigger uh, filling content of these gastrointestinal tracts because of, uh, of the higher volume uh, with water and diet. But um, it wasn't the case, so uh, the, increase, the differences in body weight, we can say that were due to uh, increases in, in carcass or body, or body weight. So the concluding remarks uh, for this trial is that then wet and dry feeding uh, at a 2 to 1 ratio for two weeks after we improved intake and growth of piglets during the most critical part of the nursery period without um, reducing the feed conversion ratio. Wet and dry feeding uh, increased body weight and average daily gain of pigs at six and 10 weeks of age compared to dry feeding, irrespective of the, of the water ratio uh, used. Wet and dry feeding increased body weight uh, an average daily gain of pigs. Oh, I'm repeating myself here. Uh, wet and dry feeding uh, increased also average daily feed intake during the winter stage uh, compared to the to the dry feeding. And uh, finally, that the uh, wet and dry feeding at a ratio of two to one for two weeks and then change to a ratio to three to one is able to maintain the same feed conversion ratio as dry feeding while increasing average daily fit intake and average daily gain during the nursery period. The increase in body weight observed in wet and dry treatments was not related to increased gastrointestinal tract weight and or content. Finally, uh, just to acknowledge and thank uh, the ERA and Pic Regen for, their, for funding and co-founding this uh, project. And a big thank you to the AFB Hillsborough Pic team uh, for for making possible uh, this trial. Uh, thank you very much.